upped it now. So it's two cases of Propel. Yes. The opening night game, Giants and Cowboys. I, I, I love Propel, but I'm going to take Dew when I win. Oh, you want Dew? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we got a bet on the Broncos, Propel too. For you. Huh? We don't have a bet on the Broncos. Whoa! <laughs> We'll wait till we, we'll wait till that yeah. week. Okay. <laughs> Next up, Dana White released about 20 seconds of video from Conor McGregor's sparring session against Pauly Malignaggia from a few weeks ago. In the video, it appears that Conor lands a left, and Pauly goes down shortly after. Malignaggi says he was pushed down. Conor said, "Quote: He got his ass whooped. He was badly, badly concussed." Skip, what did you see in the video? Look, Shannon Sharp and Joy. Yep. Yeah. I am not saying that Pauly Malignaggi is anywhere near Floyd Mayweather Jr. But he was a world champion at two different weight classes. And he was chosen in large part because he did not like Conor McGregor. And he likes him even less now. Bad blood had flowed between the two of them, and it is spilling over now. Furthermore, he was enraged when he got to the gym and found out that Connor had invited a few dignitaries to witness what was about to ensue, one of those being Dana White. And he realized right away, this wasn't just sparring. This was 12 rounds of referee boxing, boxing, real boxing. And what leaped off the video to me were those two lefts that got Calling Malinaji right in the kisser, and his head snapped back by the first one. Boom! Snap back. Whiplash. He didn't drop it. You know what? He didn't drop him with the, the first left. The, the, the next one got him, and he was teetering. He was staggered. And I'm still not sure whether he was pushed down or knocked down, but he was already headed down because he had been tagged by as vicious a left hand as Floyd Mayweather has ever encountered in a ring. So my takeaway was, I looked at Polly's face at the end of the, those 12 rounds, and I said, boy, he really got the worst of this. And I also believe that Connor did not bring his A game to this because Connor needed 12 rounds of road work. He needed 12 rounds of cardio conditioning in a boxing ring in three minute boxing rounds. And he got all of the above. I believe he let Paulie survive for 12 rounds just so he could get his work in. But he took his pound of flesh from Paulie's face. And I believe Paulie was a little concussed after this was over. And in the end, final takeaway was, that is a dynamite left hand. The right one's pretty good too. Connor can box. And Polly was a credible sparring partner in what turned into a 12-round boxing match just three weeks before the real fight. And I think you should still be sweating over there about that one. In fact, there might be a little puddle mm -hmm. left in your chair when you get through with green. this one. Yeah. Got my money green mm -hmm. on the day. Okay. Because I'm, I'm going to be money today, mm -hmm. Skip. Okay. Skip Bayless. Now, you said that Pauly Malignaggi was a two-division weight champ. Was one of those division light heavyweight or heavyweight? Because you look at him in this video, you tell me Pauly Malignaggi is in shape. Oh, he's, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. He's only 36. Floyd's, what, 41? Is he in shape? I'm not talking about pear, egg, or mm -hmm. apple. Is he in boxing shape? No, he's not. Okay, you said uh, this was a setup from the beginning. I didn't say it was a setup. Oh, it wasn't? So what, so hold on. He's got, Conor McGregor is just going to go 12 rounds of sparring with, with Paulie. Mm -hmm. But somehow Dana White, the Freetas brothers, a camera crew, all that's there. Yeah, because Conor knew what he was going to do to this guy. Oh, so it yeah. hold on, so let me get this he right. He wanted the people who oh. count to see okay. he can box. Okay, skip, hold on. And he can flat out punch. Hold on, skip, hold on, skip. So let me get this right. You fly a guy from, normally, this is how it normally works. Mm -hmm. You fly a guy over great distances. He came from New York. You fly him to Vegas, four and a half, five hour flight. You normally says, okay, Mr. Malinaji, this is your hotel. If you need anything, contact me. We'll see you in the morning. No, but that's not what they did. They flew this man five hours, take him straight to the gym to try to beat him up. Skip. I you told me Conor McGregor can't box, <laughs> that he won't lay a glove on Floyd. Well, then why shouldn't he get the uh, advantage uh, of making him spar right away? Let me tell you what happened. 
we did, me and my trainer, Rope Man, did the very same thing to a guy named Steve Weinberger, Lord who's the Lord. head MPC. You're general. not comparing yourself no, to no, Conor no, McGregor? Listen, listen to me, Skip, let me tell you what we did. Rope said, we bringing in Steve Weinberger. I know who he was. I said, Rope, let's take him out. So Rope went and picked him up from the airport, ain't get him no food, no water, brought him to the gym. Guess what we did to him, Joy? Mopped the floor with him. If you don't believe him, ask him about it. Skip. If you got so that, much... That was the biggest bunch of baloney you've ever spewed out on this table. I tell so you go what, ahead. ask Steve Weinberger. They're going to ask him about this because he I know Steve he watches. who? Steve Weinberger. He's the head MPC judge for bodybuilding shows. The, the Mr. Olympia, Arnold... He's a judge? Head. Okay, but he, wouldn't you be able to mop the floor with no, a no, judge? No, 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 no. He, oh, he, he, train, he trains people. He oh. trains professional bodybuilders. Well, but does me, he box? Me, me and Rope took him out. But that's... Oh. Well, <laughs> But I was just saying, he trained, I trained, we took him out. Pauly Box, Connor, set him up, he took him out. Skip, if you got this much confidence in your ability, first of all, I was to try Dana White leaked this because everybody, the, the fight's not moving like they thought he, it would. He leaked it because Pauly said there was no knockdown, no, no, it was a push down. Uh, Skip, hold on. You saw what it hold was. On, hold on. Got rocked. He released 20 seconds of 36 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's neither here nor there. But I believe this video was leaked because the fight's not selling $3,500 ticket. Got me. That's what got me sweating over here, Joe. Thirty five hundred dollars for them tickets. And as you get closer in the pool to the ring, want to bet they'll sell? Yeah, oh, I'm just. But guess what? Now Leonard Ellaby is going to release a tape on Friday with Floyd submitting somebody in in the ring. You know, he choking them out or doing an arm because he's trying to sell the fight too. What? Skip, you and I both know. Unless you believe that Pauli Malinaji's skills is on the on the par with Floyd Mayweather, I did not say that. And if you look First at Pauli, didn't say. Look, what is he trying to do? He takes this straight left. Why? Because he's trying to do the shoulder roll. Mm. He's trying oh, to. Do you see his head pop back? But skip, do you see the power? Skip, you're asking him. You're oh. not saying, okay, let's go spar. Let's do this. You're asking him to imitate somebody that he's the only person that's ever done this. So how do you expect the man that's flown five hours, get off a plane, and says, okay, I want you to shoulder roll, hold the right up pretty high because the left hook is what he's going to be worried about, and you shoot a straight right, I mean a straight left down down Broadway. you proud of that. Look so at Paulie. Now, now you're trying to discredit Paulie Malinaji. He's a boxer. He's a champion. X. X. He's 36 years old. Floyd is 40 years X. old. X. Skip. 40. Oh, so are you telling me in this, in this video, Paulie Malinaji is in shape? What you're telling me? He's in boxing shape. Yes or no? I have no idea. Skip, I don't stop playing. You know, I don't you know. know. Skip, I don't know. Skip, you work out every day. I do. Okay, so you know what an in shape body looks like. Are you telling me once again? Is Paulie in shape? He's probably not in the best okay. shape, but I will tell you this: he is a highly skilled championship boxer. He won championships he, at two weight levels. Skip. He knows how. You've been trying to tell me that Connor has no idea what he's doing. He has an idea what he's doing. Is it going to be easy to hit Floyd? It is not going to be easy. But what that video shows you, if he does get that left through just one time, Floyd's head's going to go way back. And if Floyd does get his right through one time, Connor's going to look around and say, did, did he just hit me? I, I'm not sure because I, I, I think he did, but I'm not sure because I, I'm not sure I felt it. I guarantee he ain't going to be walking through them punches like he says he is. Oh, but Skip, yes. you still want, look, I'm not trying to discourage this, this, what this man has accomplished. Pauli Malinaji, you mentioned me. He was a, a two-division champ. He just knows how. He's skilled. No, Skip. Yes. There, skip. If that was the case, why did they go to training camp? If you could just show up and fight, why, why go away from your, your, your girl or your wife? Why abstain from, you know, activities that they say drains a man of his strength? Why would you do that if you could just show up out of shape and just fight? Why did they do all this? What? Yes. Well, what's your point? My point is, if you thought pa Pauli Malinaji, if he was still in fighting shape and thought he could win, he would still be boxing. But because he doesn't want to want that life anymore, and he just came in expecting to get at least a good night's sleep, a good meal in his system. What is he new? Yeah. He's not like some kid they, they sent across the country to go, so let me, let me uh, you, go have an adventure. So He's let, a professional boxer. So if he felt uncomfortable, why wouldn't he just me, say let, that? Like, me, I don't want to box right let, now. Let me ask you a question. So when you came to interview for the job at Fox, did they fly you in and, and do the interview the same day, or did you have a night in between? I would have came straight from I, the I, airport. I, I, I would have walked from the I'm airport not, here. I'm not telling you what you would have done. I'm asking you what happened.
It wouldn't have mattered. I don't think you. I'm saying you see what happens. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. I'm not saying what it would. It might. It might not have mattered if Paulie Malignaggi. It's crazy. For my. For, wait a second. For my first job ever, right out of college, the day after graduation, the Miami Herald flew me in to Miami and flew me out on the same day and put me through a grill session of like 12 interviews and a big test, some personality test Skip, for Knight Ritter. Skip. That was, okay. That was, I was 50 fine. Years ago. I was fine. They didn't have planes yeah. back then. Yeah, they did. They had giddy up. You went cross country. Polly, and Polly is not new, and he's got a lot to say for somebody you who was what? put through a, a, a All rigorous I wanna, task. Hold on. Where is the other 35 minutes and 40 seconds? I saw 20. They can't release all that footage. Why not? Because it, it, there's strategic stuff in there. Exactly. Why would they want to see that? You're trying to highlight, make it look good, like Connor got an actual chance. He got the no chance. The point of contention was <laughs> knock down or push down. You call it, Shannon, because I think you saw it was more knocked down than pushed down. I mean, I'm looking at his stomach. It was a weevil wobble. <laughs> he was wobbling all over the place. He uh, pushed him, and he went way back. That's what it was. You know what? You're you're whistling through the proverbial <laughs> graveyard <laughs> no. here. That's what you're doing. Yes. For That's the record, not, for the record I would have walked from the airport. I don't know what you would have done. I don't know what happened. They put you up at a nice hotel, the Intercontinental. Tell it, George. They were very good to me, but I would have, I would have, no, see, I would have worked see, through it, and I wouldn't have complained. Now, she was doing nothing physical. You know physical. what? You were getting nervous. <laughs> nervous. 12.